Well, this is a quick introduction to the the new Talk Tablet Speech Watch. And before I begin, let me show you how it arrives. And I'll give you a quick tour of it, how it works. When you receive it, this is what you get. It uh, comes in a nice gift box. Watch it inside here. Some simple instructions there. Inside this accessories box is your uh, charging cable. It's a USB charging cable. Probably, this is just a screen protector. Um, there you have it. It's uh, I'll give you a tour of what all these things do. 2.2 inch screen. Works like a charm, especially for speech output. So that's how it arrives. Now we have our watch. <clears throat> and let's go a bit, a bit of a tour out. Um, first of all, the if I look down the left-hand side here, there's a microphone and a speaker. Uh, again, this is a smart watch, so uh, you can use it as a full cell phone. For example, if I flip it over to the back side here, I don't know if you can see it very clearly or not, but right inside here, there's an opening right there. And it lifts off, and you can put your SIM card in there, so this becomes a fully functional um, cell phone. So you can use it for texting, for making phone calls, for GPS tracking, finding restaurants, you name it. Everything you do on your phone, you can do on this. Uh, it even has uh, Google Voice. You can speak to it if you want, and it'll take commands. It's uh, like the OK Google, and it'll do whatever you want to do. This is where the uh, adapter or the charger connects to. Um, it come, looks like this. connects to a USB port. has a little magnetic function. Touch it on there. Charge up for an hour and a half. Good to go. Um, <clears throat> coming over to the right side of the phone, um, this button here is your back button. So like going back to the previous page or screen. And this is your home button, like on an iPad, the round button at the bottom, or on an on Android tablet, the, the little oval-shaped button at the bottom takes you back to your home screen, which is this. Okay, so here's your home screen. I'm looking at the um, the watch. It's uh, it's only a two and a half. 2.2 inch screen, but it's wow. I'll show you in a moment. It's super functional as a speech device as well. Okay. If I don't like this watch face and I'll change it, I just press and hold it and I can choose whatever watch face I want. People, places, things, doesn't really matter. Those are your choices of screens. There's all kinds of neat screens. Um, personally, I, I really like this one, which was at the very front end here. You can add uh, add them as well, but I like this one. Let me find it, and then I'll tell you why I like it. That one's pretty nice too. That's going out for, going out for dinner face. But I really like this one because it shows your battery at the top, so we're at ninety six percent. Has my nice date and time, really big, and it has my um, step counter as well. Note on the back here. This is your heart rate monitor too. It also counts your steps. This is a fully functioning fitness type watch as well. So very cool. Okay, coming back here. Let's give you a walkthrough of the watch itself, the functions. If I sweep to the right, I go into my app mode and I can see all the apps that are installed. What makes this so powerful is this is a fully functioning Android tablet. No different than like a Samsung Galaxy or anything like that. Uh, you can add all the apps you want. That's not a problem. You just, just add them. Um, the other thing you can do is, if I sweep up here, you'll see there's the Play Store icon right there. So I can add any app or game or whatever I wanted. Or if I don't want to add those, I can add an app to restrict. That's a parent restriction thing. So the user, you may not want the user to have access to all those great features. You can narrow this down to simply being used for speech if you want. Like any other tablet, you can restrict it down to a specific app or apps. So there's a Play Store icon. So I have full connection for that. It has Bluetooth built into it. You'll hear the, the sound and the volume is very, very good for this phone, actually, or for the watch, because it's, uh, it's quite loud. It's meant to be used as a speakerphone, too. So it's loud. Or you could connect a Bluetooth speaker to it. A wearable Bluetooth speaker might be a neat option as well. Um, I have all my op all my apps in here, but most importantly, I have Talk Tablet. So let's start up Talk Tablet. Okay, so what we can do here is I'm showing a, a couple of things. One is I can show Talk Tablet with or without symbols, and let me show you how I can do that. So we have a message bar across the top. 
We have a backspace, we have a keyboard button. This is exactly the same as if you have an Android version of Talk Tablet. This is the Talk Tablet Pro app running on the Speech Watch. Now we pre-install it before the watch goes out. It actually takes us a couple of hours to get these watches ready before they go out the door. We add a different keyboard, a larger keyboard. It makes it easier to use. Uh, we also, if you want, you can use your finger on it fine. I, I use my finger for everything on this. Or if you want, we have an accessory. You can buy one of these and you can use this to touch, type on your keyboard as well, and it will speak out. HTVGF. Something that you put every type in there. Okay, so there's your back button. If you want to get rid of your keyboard, or you can press the keyboard. Under settings here, you have all the menu, the exact same menu that you'll see on the, the normal um, talk tablet for Android tablets. I can change my user. I can go to different... Uh, Page sets, it's all built into here. Everything here, I can add new users. I can do, and this is what makes this really important. You can do all your editing, all of your button changes, moving around, everything on the watch. You do not need to um, use a tablet if you don't want. Um, it has built-in scrolling, of course. The watch has been pre-configured for um, using... Uh, a two by two grid, but it's not really two by two because it has scrolling, so it's really two by infinity. But you can change a grid layout to whatever you want. It can be as simple as one button or two buttons or as many buttons as you want per page with unlimited pages. There are no restrictions. Again, this is a standalone AAC device. Okay, um, so you have the message bar across the top. If I want to use that, I can just touch on that. I want. And the things pop into my message bar. If I want, I can also uh, I want. bring up my keyboard. Uh, I could say I want to, to go to the store. So I can combine symbols and text. Again, no different than our Android app. The scrolling's built into it. Or if I decide I don't want to see that message bar, I really don't need it. I can go into Settings, Default Styles, turn the message bar off, and go back. Now I have no message bar. So I might decide I'm just going to use it this way because I don't really need a message bar. I'm going to use phrases that I already have. My phrase is, I don't know. There you go. Okay, so again, um, I'm showing the symbols on the buttons. What's important to get across with this video is that if you're an adult with Parkinson's and you think symbols are too simplistic and you simply don't want them, you can take them off. All of them at the same time. We, this is another new feature. So if I go into settings and I go into global button settings and I come down here and I say, where is it? Right there, hide pictures. You see that? I'm going to put on hide pictures and I'm going to check that box and I'll hit save. and every button has just text on it. Now this button is actually a page button because it opens a new page of buttons. See how that works? So I can also, if I want, globally edit all of my page buttons at the same time as well. And we have a setting for that too. So if I go into settings, global page settings, and this also applies to the buttons that open new pages, I can do the same for that if I wanted to as well. And I will choose Hide Pictures, hit Save. Do you want to do this? Yes. And now you can see Hurt doesn't have a symbol either. In fact, there will be no symbols on any of the buttons. So just like that, if you decide you don't want to use symbols, you want to keep it text-based for whatever reason, cosmetically, uh, go for it. Uh, you can change the background colors again, full scrolling. It does change size and orientation. Um, there's really nothing this watch can't do. It's a phone. It's an AAC device. Uh, you can have full editing functions, heart rate monitor, step counter. And again, I will emphasize, you can delete all of that so the user has only access to speech if you want, if it's being funded by Medicare or Medicaid or health insurance. Last thing I want to mention is this phone the talk tablet on here on the speech watch has 
complete access to our cloud server, no different than our, our Android and our iOS versions of our software. So you can log into our cloud server, you can upload and download any one of 6,000 files that are on our, our, our server. You can create your own custom speech watch templates if you want. You can share those with others or keep them private, whatever you want to do. There is no restrictions in this. This is the only AAC watch available worldwide, and it is available today.